Uh, I was thankful to get out there. Um, you know, I felt like I did some good things. There's uh, definitely not a game of perfect. It wasn't perfect out there. and um, But, you know, thankful for the opportunity. What was the learning and preparation going into the Vikings just in the last game of the season? I know it's a long season. You guys want to guys have it the right way. Yeah, I think preparation-wise, there's a lot of guys in that locker room that uh, were selling out and giving everything they had. You know, everybody that was on that field was doing that. And, I mean, I can attest to that. I think it, it, it showed. I mean, there's a lot of guys that um, might retire this year, you know, be done and, and want to go out on a good note. So um, the locker room was, uh, and I say just the guys, were, is special, you know. And anytime you get an opportunity to play, uh, guys were out there giving their all. What do you think this does for you moving forward? I don't know. I, I've kind of uh, learned not to predict the future. I, uh, this is a crazy business. Um, I'm, I'm thankful for the opportunity again today. Uh, I did have fun out there. Um, just great to get, get out there and compete, and you know, we'll see what, what happens. You talked about the locker room and like kind of what it was like this year. I mean, it's been a difficult year for the next like, couple of months, but it never really felt like anything got, at least to us, things got like out of control. Uh, what, what was it like when you were down there? Yeah, it was tough. Um, you know, there's some good guys in that locker room, I'd say, that, that uh, kept it right. Um, but no doubt, there was adversity. There was um, tough things going through, growing pains, all those things. So, um, you know, when, when you're out there, you, you come to work every day, you try to do your job, and try to enjoy the guys around you because they're all you got. Forgive me if you've been asked this already, but I saw that. Was there a Pitt Hamlin jersey? Yeah. Why do you want to have it? And, and what was it like going back down? Yeah, so um, Coach Sinoco, you know, our quarterback coach, uh, he went to Pitt also and um, talked to, you know, our guys there and got us to send them to us. So we both wore it today. And, um, again, you know, I, I said, you know, talked about DeMar earlier in the week, but it was just uh, huge news this week, very relieving. And I was so thankful to see the power of prayer really at work. And, um, you know, just, uh, again, it was a, a crazy moment and make, made you think of, Everything that that's happened, what you play for, all those things, but uh, awesome to see, uh, you know, him him doing better. Um, and then it was great being out there, you know, just uh, love getting the opportunity. Is there any second thought, you know, the first play or anything like that? That oh my God, we're back to doing this dangerous thing that 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 was scary for 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 Demar. Uh, no, I think we're just going out there doing our job. You know, you know the like I said earlier in the week. You know, you know the risk. Uh, you're. Uh, it, but at the end of the day, it's your dream, you know, and it's something that, you know, we're all all willing to put it out there for. Us. So, um, you know, it's great to be out there today. Is it a little disappointing you guys couldn't put the losing streak to bed before the season ended? Yeah, I mean, uh, you want to win every time you're out there. So um, it's always disappointing when you lose. And, um, you know, uh, just try to go out there and do your best. And, uh, again, trying to win. <laughs> there, but how much awareness was it post game to what's going on? Yeah, I have no idea. I mean, I think somebody just told me, uh, but that, that's about it. Thank you. Thank you.